Houston has the oldest subway system in North America. You don't have to tell that to anyone who relies on the T every day. Now, a proposed digital facelift of sorts as those charged with keeping Boston quintessential fighting back. The T shouldn't have carte blanche to do what they want. The MBTA would like to install 55 inch digital signs outside five different stations. They would display service information for 15 seconds, ads for 30. Problem is two of those stations are very close to the public garden and the common and outdoor ads, especially illuminated ads, aren't permitted within 300 feet of a park per MassDOT regulations and architectural guidelines. I understand that the T is is looking for investment and money, but they've gotten very creative to work their way, I think, around that regulation. In the Back Bay area, every other business is surviving and thriving within the rules and regulations. So why should a city agency not have to follow the same rules as everyone else. The Transit Authority says the panels are part of ongoing efforts to improve communication with customers. Several of those customers attended a public hearing on the matter today, and two in the crowd fighting for history say they walked away frustrated by the lack of communication and transparency. I don't think this is about being opposed to the future and change. I think it's about doing it in a way that's sympathetic to the, what Boston's about. The T says these head houses, as I learned they're called today, fall under street furniture provisions and are therefore exempted from the regulations. But the definition of street furniture normally falls under garbage cans and benches, things that are easily removable.